Hey, this is Rebecca Sarton, and I graduated from Rolling Meadows High School. My favorite childhood memory is with my dad. It's the first time that he took me pheasant hunting. I was in preschool, and where we were hunting in the field, the grass was taller than I was. The blaze orange vest that I was wearing was his, and I kept on tripping over myself and falling over, but I was just so excited, and I kept on getting back up. I'm coming, Dad. I'll be right there, and he'd turn around, and he'd smile. And it was just such a great day because it really brought my dad and I closer together. And now that's one of the things that we love to do together. My favorite youth group memory was the first year that I did the polar bear plunge. We had to break a hole in the ice and there was news crews there. And I remember Mr. Willie Ray saying, well, we're just going to have to baptize them. And I got dunked in and we're all shivering and we're laughing as we're trying to get dressed. And I remember Rob doing snow angels in the snow. And we all headed over to the McDonald's, and we all got hot chocolate. And it was just such a great day. And it was a great way to start that new year. The people who have influenced me the most in my life are my parents. My dad has always taught me that you can do anything a man can do and still be a lady. Both of my parents have worked so incredibly hard to give me everything that they could. And that work ethic has been instilled in me. Without that work ethic, I wouldn't be where I am today, and I wouldn't have been given the opportunities that I have been. And without those opportunities, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Some words of advice I'd like to give is forgive everyone. If not for them, do it for yourself. There's no use in holding grudges because all it does in the end is hurt you. Also, I believe that acceptance is the meaning of life because we can't change the past, we cannot predict the future, but we can accept and move forward. Also, my grandma has taught me that we need three things in life. Something to do, something to look forward to, and something to love. I will be attending Harper College in the fall, majoring in nursing. My hope is to transfer to NIU and get my master's degree and become a nurse practitioner, obstetrician, gynecologist. What influenced this career choice was the hardships that I faced with women's health, and I want to advocate for those who cannot for themselves. I would like to thank my entire church family, because it truly does take a village to raise a child. I would like to thank my teachers, Ms. Karen Hill, Ms. Joyce Cunningham, Mr. John Byam, and Robin Molly. Thank you for shaping me to be the woman that I am today, and I couldn't have done it without any of you.